on the game and, and how it all played out? Yeah, uh, my thoughts are all over the place. Um, we, if we don't consistently do the things that we talk about on defense, then we, you know, it's going to be a struggle. We'll have to outscore teams. And in saying that, I didn't think we were great on defense and we still were in the game. And uh, so we had some fight and there was uh, some good moments for us, but I think there was some moments in the second quarter uh, and then sprinkled throughout the second half that really let us down. What is the sort of defense? Is it going to be pack the paint and let a, a few extra three-point shots sort of go? Or what's the sort of uh, not necessarily. I mean, basically it's trying to keep, uh, keep the ball in front and pick and roll defense help uh, be at the level with the big and everyone else helps. So if it does get sprayed out a little bit, we have to be ready to close out. But no, we just want to be really solid and fundamentally sound. Uh, we know we don't have the biggest guards. Uh, we're long, but we're not super athletic everywhere. Um, so we have to play well as a team and be connected. Mike, what do you think it was, especially in that second quarter, where I think Chris got open for a ton of looks? What happened with the connection that you feel? I think we we ran into some screens without without seeing the game uh, the plays again, um, and that's communication, big moments. Chris is very good at um, uh, using using contact and deception to get get through screens, and I think we ran into some screens, um, and we got phased a little by the moment. Do you feel as though that the offense sort of broke down as the game went on? It seemed like you got a ton of good looks in that first quarter. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I think at one point when we got two feet in the paint, we made nine out of our 11 shots. Uh, and when we didn't, we were like two for nine. So I think that's what happened. I think we uh, lost patience a little bit and um, took some shots that were questionable and then didn't get in the paint as much as we needed to. And that, that affected our offense and our shots. Whose responsibility do you feel like that is? Who do you put that on? Well, our leaders are D. Walt and Sobes, um, you know, the guards uh, initially. Uh, but they move the ball, so it's, it's everybody's responsibility to do that, setting great screens, having great spacing, and getting the ability to have two feet in the paint. Matt, what was it like being out there in the NBL? How are you finding your, sort of, your spot in, in the league and the team here? Yeah, I mean, it's a great league. I mean, I've only heard a lot of great things about this league. Um, it's great to get out uh, with the home crowd. Obviously, crosstown rival, so a little amped up a little bit. But overall, great atmosphere. Fans were great, um, but didn't get the win. So uh, hopefully, next game we can do that. Mike, we spoke a few weeks ago about the challenge of bringing this thing together with nine new faces. Um, and you know, at, at that point in time, it was still evolving. You've had the blip since then. Taking into account first game last week, where you showed patches of competitiveness again tonight, like how do you assess where this team's at, and, and are you at all concerned about you know starting 0-2, or do you think you know you're still kind of building in the right direction? We're definitely building in the right direction. Like the group's been good. Um, the group is trying to get better every day, and and that's what I think. If you're doing that, and you and you are getting better every day, um, you got a chance if you have talent, and this group has talent. Um, comes in every day with a good attitude and, and plays hard. Uh, but we're inconsistent right now. So I do think uh, a bunch of new guys, um, some, some new to the league, um, takes a while to, uh, to get to know everybody and to gel. And we're, we're on that path. Matt, what's the feeling amongst the playing group in terms of how you guys are tracking and improving and figuring things out? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a little, like nine new faces. Um, I think just being together, especially off the court and on the court, you know, we do a lot of stuff, the team bonding. I think that helps us, especially with a lot of new guys. Um, so we're just going to keep chipping away, keep keep showing up to work every day and just keep trying to get better, keep getting to know each other and keep working. Does it put any extra pressure heading into the game against New Zealand, still searching for that first win of the season, or are you still comfortable still early enough in the season for either of you? I, I, feel, I feel good about our group. But, but yes, until you win, you haven't won. So, uh, yeah, we, you got to get that, uh, that first win and then roll. Um, but, uh, but the group is very good, and we have played two of the better teams in the league. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I think going into New Zealand, I mean, they played really well last week. Um, tough team, um, good at, 
every position. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to play our best to have a chance in that game. What changes between now and then? Well, I'll tell you after I watch the film. But we're going to continue to harp on um, keeping the ball in front and uh, and rebounding the ball. Um, so we need to keep getting better at that every day. Matt, what do you feel like it was? Mike mentioned it. Connection defensively, communication was inconsistent defensively. What do you put that down to? Um, I think just for me, I think just a lot of pride, um, especially Golden got off in the first half with you know transition threes. We kind of said before the games and kind of trail in, trying to get to pick his spots. Um, so I think just taking pride, especially guarding the ball and especially bigs. We got to be up on the ball to kind of make them go cat and mouse with the big. Um, so I think we just got we all have to be better, and so I think I think I think we'll be better and. I, just glad that we can uh, keep going up to work every day. Well, I'd be pleased to see the fire in, uh, in Joe, you know, um, a new uh, import coming to the team. You know, you, that's, that's what you want to see from, from your players in the program. Yeah, no, I think the, the physicality was good um, and the mindset, uh, but I, you need to win those moments. And uh, I think the smart ones and the, and the guys who can play that the right way uh, they win those moments instead of getting called for an offensive foul. So, uh, so yeah, I love I love when guys are trying to be physical. So mindset's great. Joe's great, um, playing hard, uh, but I want him to be tough and smart at the same time. Michael, we've had sellouts now for several of these pre grand final games. How happy are you to see that? And what's that? What's it feel like to have that sort of fixture sort of pretty locked in now? Whether it's you guys or you. Yeah, very cool. And and the crowd was amazing. And even the build up, I think, over the last couple of weeks, talking to people in the community, they've been pretty amped up for this game. Uh, so it was great to see. And uh, yeah, I just want to have some wins uh, and show show our fans what we're doing and how we're getting better. And uh, yeah, until we until we do that, you know, we'll always be a little upset. But the fans were amazing tonight. I don't know, you've uh, only been in Australia a short time, but have you got your head around AFL and which team you're following in the grand final? Or what? Yeah, so I've been to two games. I uh, can't remember the two, the four teams that I went to, but I think just kind of getting myself into the culture and obviously it's pretty big over here. Um, but I think I'm going for Sydney uh, tomorrow night. So uh, hopefully we, we get to see a little bit when we land in uh, New Zealand Saturday and um, hopefully it's a good game. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank you for calling the game on